afternoon folks, Big Bo here with another great diesel Class A motor home value from Parkway RV Center. Got a really neat one today I haven't had in a long time. A great floor plan that I've been looking for for a long time and I jumped when I found this one. 2004 Monaco Diplomat 40 DST. Now folks, I know it says four slides. I don't know why he wrote that on there. It's a triple slide model, but it is 40 feet long. Um, it's built on a Roadmaster RR8R chassis exclusively for Monaco and Holiday Rambler products. Got the eight outboard airbags and air suspension. Got a great ride and drive. Got good tires on it. Mileage, it's got 98,000 miles. And I know that's normally a little higher than we normally buy, but this particular floor plan is so rare that I overlooked that. And I'm glad I did because once I looked in this thing and saw how nice it's been maintained, I was very impressed. Um, it's got a 75 on end, 7500 on end diesel generator running everything inside right now. It's, it's running, generator's running, motor's running. Got a 330 horsepower ISC Cummins diesel with 1,150 pound feet of torque. My drivers drove this thing 65, 70 miles an hour over five, 600 miles, it did awesome. Uh, looking around it, folks, got some really nice upgrade, obviously, the full body paint, got the Alcoa wheels. Uh, of course, the air suspension air ride gives you a great ride and drive. It's a raised rail chassis, so you get all that extra outside storage. Awnings, and this thing has got plenty of them. You've got a door awning, a patio awning, slide toppers, window awnings. And they're all Illumigard. They all look very nice. No delamination. Look at the finish on this motorhome, guys. And I know it's cloudy right now. But man, this thing really shines. Obviously, it's been kept under cover of some type when it hasn't been used. Corners aren't beat up. And that's something you always want to look at, it's the corners. your air intake for your motor right there got a 10 gallon DSI water heater 50 amp electrical service got a 1500 watt inverter it's nice folks the tires still have the tabs on them you see over here window awnings again Even the dash air is still cold. Now, folks, when you're looking at a 16-year-old motorhome, unless somebody maintains it, that dash air is not going to work. So the fact that they actually cared enough about this coach, because you really don't need it, but they actually kept the dash air going, is a good sign. It's got a satellite system, air horns. It's got this diamond shielding uh, plastic, or it's not really a plastic, some kind of acrylic uh, compound that they put on the front protect it. Of course, it's starting to get a few cracks in it like they all do when they get this age. But that's not on the fiberglass behind it. That's the protectant on top. Um, and you can get that removed if you want to. A lot of people put a bra over it. It's not going to hurt anything. It's just what they do when they get a few years old. Um, or you can have it removed. I mean, it's, it's, it's not an easy process, but it can be done if you would like a quote on that, let us know. We've got a, a body shop that has a process to take it off, but now it, it, it's going to delay. It, it, it's, they're pretty backed up right now, so we're not going to do it because it would take them a few weeks to get it done. So I'm going to let you be the, you may have somebody at home that can do it. Looking inside, folks, we did install brand new carpet in it. Did a great job as usual. Uh, padded carpet, very, very nice carpet. And these guys, very fortunate to have my carpet crew. In fact, they're working on one next door to me right now. Um, but these guys do an awesome job. I'm really, really proud of them and really, really fortunate to have them. And trying to close this door one-handed, not having too good a luck. <laughs> anyway, we'll look in here. We'll just leave the door open. I've got both air conditioners on. They're nice and cold. Like I said, the dash air is ice cold. Uh, looking at your dash, has the banks 
package which on a 330 is going to get you a mile or two better per gallon and a little bit more horsepower not a lot but every little bit helps it's got the Sony backup camera system CD stereo like I said dash air is ice cold six-speed Allison transmission air brakes air suspension uh, it does have an exhaust brake uh, what's really cool about these year diplomats is they have anti-lock brake system and traction automatic traction control very safe motorhome got the hydraulic leveling jacks uh, that's an adaptive Allison 3000 six-speed transmission that's automatic and adapts itself to your driving style got some really nice cosmetic touches like the chrome uh, gauges analog gauges real easy to read 98,095.4 miles and guys, let me tell you something. I know that may concern a lot of you who don't know diesels. But for those of you who know diesels, that's not even a concern. As a matter of fact, guys, I've driven probably more diesel motorhomes than anybody watching this video. And I'm not trying to boast, but I've been around these things 20 plus years. I used to transport them. Let me tell you something from experience. You can take a motorhome like this with 98,000 miles. Drive it 100 miles down the interstate. You can take the same exact year make and model motor home with 20,000 miles, do the same trip. This one right here is going to ride and drive three to one better than that 20,000 mile one because everything's broken in good and it's been well maintained. It's just got a superior ride and drive. And I can, and you're welcome to try that theory out. Come drive this one and drive a similar unit with low miles. You'll see the difference right away. Um, this has been a well cared for RV. The TVs have been updated, HD TVs, of course, instead of the CRTs. Still got the original VCR, but it looks like they added a DVD player. Um, dash looks great. It's got, um, of course, you've got the air dump, you've got the adjustable pedals, battery boost, heated power mirror, ISCC flashers, um, telescoping and, and tilt wheel, cruise. I mean, everything's everything's easily labeled. You've got the defrost fans. You've got the step cover. You've got the radio. You can operate off of battery or, or motor battery or house battery. So that way, if you're parked somewhere, you want to listen to some tunes. You don't have to leave your ignition switch on. Uh, ceramic tile floor on the parts that aren't carpeted. They look great. No stress cracks. Which after 98,000 miles, this is obviously a good riding chassis or those would be cracked up. No stress cracks on the Corian countertops. And look at this, look at this floor plan, guys. It's a bath and a half floor plan. That's what makes it so rare. And a lot of people love the bath and a halves, but they're just so hard to find. It's got the opposing sofas. Now this right here, this cloth sofa makes a queen size bed. Now this J Lounge, this leather J Lounge sofa, you can call it a bed it one end folds out just a little bit you know realistically you're gonna sleep one kid or one very small adult right here that's it um, so technically it's a, it sleeps five but depends on that fifth is going to depend on how big they are table and chairs of course I got a factory sales brochure all the day night shades are in great shape solid hardwood cabinets a couple of light bulbs burn out but we're going to take care of that when we service it. Uh, ceiling panels look great. It's got the vinyl ceiling um, with a peaked aluminum top, which means that it's rounded, so you don't have standing water in your roof, and it's aluminum, not rubber. You know, one thing Monaco Holiday Rambler, which is the same company back in 2004, is known for is their ceiling. Nine-layer insulated, fiberglass insulated ceiling, five-layer sidewall, five-layer floor, aluminum frame, and then, of course, in the front, it's steel. So, very well-made RV. It doesn't sway on you that much. It's it drives as good as you can take a, as you as, as a 40-footer can possibly do. I mean, obviously, a 40-foot RV is not going to drive like a passenger car, but this will really surprise you how well it does. Uh, Corian countertops again, no stress cracks. The stove top covers, no cracks. Sink covers, no cracks. Stainless steel sink. Uh, residential style faucet with a sprayer filtered water dispenser you've got a stove top doesn't look like it's ever been used like a lot of them 
and then you actually got a microwave and a convection oven it's got the grill to go feature so you can put you some you know if you've been driving all day you get set up at the campground you're too tired to order you really don't want to order out to go and you don't want to go out and get anything or go eat great for two people throw you a couple of burger patties a couple pieces of chicken on there some vegetables use the convection feature and basically grill in your oven makes it really handy and it's quick and easy guys and easy to clean up I've actually added one of those to my uh, personal motorhome because I had the regular oven with just a microwave you've got a four-door refrigerator freezer which is a very nice upgrade notice the bevel glass nothing's broken um, cabinets everything's clean I mean guys it's this is probably a, a good at one to ten considering the age this is a good nine nine plus out of ten in my, in my on my condition scale I know everybody's got different opinions about what kind of condition a 16 year old motorhome supposed to be in for 59.9 for you and your family but my my personal opinion is it's a nine plus uh, out of ten and this is exceptionally nice and the fact that it's a bath and a half or two bath floor plan is pretty amazing um, and I'll show you all that here in a minute slide out pantry perfect for dry goods comes out pretty good storage in here guys because you know that second bathroom does take up some of your storage space but they compensate pretty good for it you still got the big fridge this is the guest bathroom you've got an elongated RV uh, China RV toilet you've got a sink in here medicine cabinet great guest bathroom if you need it you've got a walk through bedroom with a queen island bed got a headboard comfortable mattress um, plenty of overhead storage it's got an upgrade TV back here as well chest of drawers uh, storage open this up here is all your Xantrex inverter controls AC heat controls power management system everything guys water heater water pump all that good stuff and you've got some nice window treatments some frames around the windows that look really great solid sliding door for the bathroom you got a huge rear bathroom guys huge rear bathroom of course we're right on top of that motor so you got a, uh, a Corian sink in here medicine cabinet another China RV toilet big shower and tub look at this guys tub and shower so if you've got kids pets anything like that appreciate that big skylight nothing sagging in here you know the good thing about this vinyl uh, headliner if you ever have a water leak it'll it'll make it sag like an old car headliner so the fact that you don't have any sagging means it haven't had any leaks open this up of course we went ahead and replaced carpet in the closets as well um, in here some plumbing access over here some extra storage okay, I'll get this None of the glass which is a good sign it's another well this is original glass it's got the etched glass design on the front and it's not broken not cracked again the further back you go in a motor home the more vibrations you get in a diesel pusher so of course my guys always leave you spare carpet in here instead of throwing away the scraps but just in case down the road you ever you ever like say your slide out gets out of adjustment there's your breakers and fuses of course your slide out ever gets out of adjustment uh, you spill something that won't come up like grape juice or red wine in your carpet when you got to replace a section of it well normally you can never match the color up but this way you've got that spare in case you need it you can piece you a, a, a patch in there and not have to change all the carpet because of a stain so you know we try to take care of you and my guys are good, man. I got, like I said, I, I know I'm bragging a lot of my carpet crew, but man, I'm, I'm telling you, they, uh, I mean, they actually put carpet in my personal home and did an awesome job. Anyway, guys, wow, bath and a half, three slides, ninety-eight thousand miles, three thirty Cummins. Let me, and guys, let me touch on something for a minute. Uh, me and my wife and my daughter, we were riding around yesterday on the interstate and uh, seeing family and doing our normal Sunday routine after church. And um, 
we um, we were driving down the interstate and this guy in about a 40 foot diesel motor home with a probably a 20 something about a 20 foot cargo trailer big cargo trailer behind it we're in the middle lane we're doing 70 75 miles an hour which is the speed limit he comes blowing by us in the left lane in this big RV running every bit of 90 miles an hour. And he's darting in and out of traffic. Guy, he darted out of the left lane to the middle lane in front of us. About hit a car with his trailer that was in the middle lane. They had to swerve over. And it's just cutting in and out of traffic. Guys, let, let, me, let me talk to you about driving these things. I know I get people here all the time. Oh, I want a 500 horse or a 525 horsepower. You don't need that, guys. Again, this is a 40 foot long vehicle. It's eight and a half foot wide with the slides in. It's 12 foot tall. It's heavy. It doesn't drive like a passenger car. It doesn't maneuver like a passenger car. It doesn't stop like a passenger car. Guys, RVs, while they can go 85, 90 miles an hour, that doesn't mean you should. It puts a lot of unnecessary wear and tear on, the, on your RV. It puts everybody else on the road at risk because you can't stop like a passenger car. You can't maneuver like a passenger car. If you wreck one of these things, chances are in a busy interstate, you're going to hit a few people and possibly kill somebody. All because you want to run like a maniac. Guys, RVs, that's why you don't need the big motor because you don't need to run that fast. You're not going to go up Mount Everest in one of these at 90 miles an hour. I don't care what size motor you have in it or go through the Rocky Mountains up a steep grade at 90 miles an hour. Guys, you don't need that. Take it easy. Part of owning an RV, in my opinion, is, an enjoy, is enjoying the trip as much as the destination. Very rarely do you see me drive over, and I really shouldn't even drive this fast in one, but in a motorhome like this, and I've driven hundreds and hundreds of these guys, I hardly ever go over 65, 70 miles an hour. 65 is my preferred cruising speed. I know some people go slower than that, and that's fine. Get in the right lane. Enjoy the trip. Don't stress out. Give yourself plenty of time to get there. Don't drive and swap lanes. Don't tailgate. Not only when you drive that fast, not only are you hurting your coach, but you're putting everybody's lives at risk. That's on the interstate, guys. These you get If you're in a four-door car or an SUV and you get hit by one of these, it's not like getting hit by a Honda Civic. You're getting hit by a huge big vehicle and chances are you're going to get hurt. So guys, you know, us RVers, we have a reputation to be responsible owners, uh, responsible uh, drivers, be more professional, use your turn signal, be in the right lane for your speed, and don't dart in and out of traffic, guys. I mean, give yourself plenty of time to start and stop, maneuver, uh, you know, let your other drivers help them if they want to come over. Let them over in front of you guys. It, it's so much easier and so much smoother on the highway if everybody drives right, especially in one of these big buses. So please, folks, drive responsibly. And, and, and you know, our beers now, we don't want to lose that good reputation. Because then campgrounds are going to start closing down. State parks and government facilities that allow RVs are going to start closing down, which they're already doing that because people have abused the system. Guys, be responsible when you drive, when you park. Leave your campsite looking better than it was when you got there. You know, you know, just be responsible so that future generations can enjoy RV. Um, so please be careful out there if you've got a coach and drive right is what I'm getting at. Uh, you know, I don't, uh, I don't see the point of driving any more than 65 or 70 miles an hour in a 40 foot vehicle. It's not, a, again, if you can't drive that slow, you, you probably don't need to buy an RV. You probably need to stick to a car in a hotel room. Um, not to mention driving right also gets you a little bit better miles per gallon. I know these things aren't economy vehicles by no means, but when you drive one that fast, you're burning gas and diesel fuel like crazy. Anyway, guys, this unit's 59.9. Um, and you get a lot more than just this beautiful 04 Diplomat. You get this Diplomat with a four page long inspection that's done after purchase by my certified and trained RV techs. If you want to see everything that we inspect and guarantee for the price you pay, 
click over to my website, parkwayrbcenter.com. I'll put a link in the video description below. It takes you to my used Class 8 diesel page. Click on this or any other individual listing on that page. Um, underneath the price, where it says stock number, location, all that stuff, there'll be a green banner, what we inspect for option A price. Click on that banner. You're going to be impressed, guys. Nobody else is going to take a 16-year-old motorhome and put it through the inspection process that we do. Most dealers on 16-year-old motorhomes, at the very most, might pressure check your propane system, which we do that as well, but that's it. Guys, we go through this thing top to bottom, front to back. We go through... Uh, well, I mean, we obviously can't make it brand new for $59.9. Obviously, that's impossible, but we're going to go through it, make sure all your mechanical stuff works great. You're going to be impressed. Everything that we inspect and guarantee. Um, and, and here's the thing, guys. If we find anything wrong on that checklist, we repair it or replace the part at no additional cost to you. So, in other words, $59.9, you're getting a 2004 Monaco Diplomat with a bath and a half three slides with every system that this unit has that's on our inspection sheet functioning flawlessly. And that's done after purchase. If you want to know the current lead time for a Class A diesel checkout, ask your salesperson before committing to buy. Uh, that way everybody's on the same page. And while you've got your salesperson on there, keep in mind all of our prices are plus applicable sales tax. Unfortunately, one of the prices we pay to live in this great country of ours is that everybody has to pay sales tax on vehicles. Now, the amount you pay when and where you pay your sales tax depends on two factors, where you live, how you're paying for it. Uh, some states allow you trade-in credit. If you're trading in something, you only pay sales tax in the difference. Some states have a cap or a minimum sales tax amount. Don't play around with it, folks. Sales tax laws change all the time. Contact us to get an estimate. At, uh, ask the salesperson for an estimate. Tell them where you live, how you're paying for it. We'll get you an estimate and tell you when and where you have to pay it. Sometimes you pay it to us. Sometimes you pay it when you tag and title it your home state at your local DMV office. We have no fees. $59.9 plus applicable sales tax. You get this unit with everything on that list working perfectly. After this unit's been checked out, my techs, uh, my cleaning crew cleans it inside and out for you, including outside bays. Uh, we really do a good job. I mean, I've got a really, really good, best crew I've ever had. I, I'm telling, I know I say that a lot, but man, I can't be more proud of these guys. I mean, the, the, the quality work they do and the, how, how quick they do it, it to me is absolutely amazing because this is not a five minute checkout that we do, guys. I mean, it's the most thorough in the industry. It's more, it's a more thorough inspection than what's done on them when they're new. And guys, we're proud of that. We've been doing it for 51 years. This is what y'all want. When y'all buy a Parkway RV, you don't want to work on it. You want to use it right off the bat. So after you purchase it, it goes through service, gets cleaned up. When it's ready to go, my service manager, Gordy, does his final walkthrough. If he's happy with everything, he'll call you, set up an appointment when you arrive to pick up your new to you diplomat. And you can record them with your camera or phone while he does this. Uh, the tech checked it out. It's going to give you a one-on-one -on -one RV orientation. Going to go through your coach with you and show you how to operate everything. Show you everything on our list works. Give you tips, tricks, and pointers. He'll show you anything you had to repair and how he repaired it. He will uh, answer any questions you have. If you've got a runabout or a toad you want to tow back behind it, he'll help you hook that up as well. You've got 10,000 pound tow capacity, by the way, if I didn't already mention that. All that's included for 59.9 plus tax. And we also give you some other nice perks, guys. Other dealers don't. First of all, we give you a starter kit with all your camping essentials. Big five gallon bucket, brand new, new sewer hose, new water hose, new pressure reducer. Unfortunately, the health department makes me dispose of all used sewer hoses. So I don't care if it's got a $300 sewer hose set up, by law, I have to legally dispose of that. I cannot sell it with a sewer hose. Um, that's that's the health department's rules, not mine. But anyway, we're going to give you a new sewer hose, water hose, pressure reducer, uh, chemicals, adapters, and more, all brand new, sealed in a five-gallon bucket, $100 worth of stuff. Most dealers, you buy a 14-year-old, 16-year-old used RV, you get nothing. You have to buy all that. You get that, plus you get your legal drive-out tag. 
We also give you some instructional DVDs, it's kind of a generic RV orientation so you can watch from home or from your RV. Also included are um, 21 nights of free camping. This is a pretty big thing right here, guys. We're, we're proud to, to offer to our customers, and it's no charge. 21 nights of free camping, up to seven nights at a time at select RV resorts nationwide to be used in a 12-month period. Guys, awesome. Been thanked so many times for that by so many of our customers. They love it. Great campground organization. Of course, you can join them after that if you want to. Um, I've stayed in these resorts. The one in Florida, I loved it. Uh, perfect location. I'd like to go to the beach or go to Walt Disney World or Orlando. It's a, It was a great park. I stayed there last year for a couple of nights and then I went to my normal spot on, uh, which is where I'm heading hopefully in August. Uh, Beverly Beach campground just outside of Flagler Beach between St. Augustine and Flagler Beach by the way highly recommend it been going there since I was a kid but anyway guys um, great campgrounds and they're actually it's free I mean hey can't argue the price <laughs> I know that um, anyway guys 599 plus sales tax you get all those benefits now if for some reason you don't want those benefits, you don't want the inspection, you don't want the orientation, you just want to buy it as is and save a little bit of money, I understand that. That's the only way we discount our haggle-free prices, take it as is. And even though you're buying it as is, we're still going to show you and guarantee the roof airs, the refrigerator and freezer, and the generator and slide outs to work. Everything else, of course, is as is. We don't know if it works or if it doesn't work. It's rolling the dice. You know, you, you may win, you may lose. Most of the time you win because we try to buy nicer RVs. Sometimes you may not, but you do save money and you get to take it home the same day you pay for it. So there's pros and cons to either way. And if you want what we call it as is option B price, give us a call 706. 965-7929 and my salesperson will get that for you. Here's my thoughts on that. You know, here's the thing, guys. This is a big investment. If you are able to, before you decide on option A or option B, come out and look at it. Spend some time. Let us know you're coming. We'll crank the generator up, get it cool for you. But spend some time in it, test drive it, and then decide if you want to do option A or B. Now, I know this is, the, hey, this is 2019. People buy over the internet now. You'd be surprised. We sell we sell a couple of hundred plus of these a year, and we never even meet the buyers. They pay for it completely over the internet. Most shoppers take the option A price when they buy sight unseen. I understand that. They pay somebody to bring it to them. We have delivery service available. If you want a quote on that, let us know, and they pay it. They don't know what they bought until they've already paid for it, and it comes up their driveway. And I certainly appreciate the trust. Each and every one of those customers gave to us as a company. I really do. But, and, and also folks, if you do want to buy it that way, we'll do everything we can within reason to uh, conquer all your fears that you may have about it. We can send you additional pictures, videos, even recommend some third-party inspection services that are not affiliated with us that will come out and inspect it. Of course, keeping in mind, it has not been through our shop. Uh, our service department. Now, I can tell you just from me screwing around with it for the last little bit, uh, motor home runs and drives. Obviously, we drove it 600 miles back. It obviously runs and drives great. No check engine lights. I've cranked it up. I've got generators running. Airs are cold. Dash air is cold. Light. There's a couple of lights that need bulbs, but other than that, I mean, it, the lights generally all work. I folded the sofas out to see how they work. Uh, refrigerator's getting cold. So basically all the major stuff I pretty much checked and obviously the slides work or we wouldn't have them out. Um, but like I said, come out and look at it, test drive it, spend some time with us, get to know us a little bit. We've got a great selection of used diesel motor homes, guys, and plenty more coming in. So definitely we're your place to go for a used RV purchase. We've been in business 51 years. How many dealers can say that? Half a century plus in business with half a century of customer feedback about what they want and expect in a used RV purchase. And that's why we're different than everybody, guys. 
And, and, and first difference is we don't haggle. Nobody likes haggling. Second difference is we have no commission salespeople. That means no sales pressure, no games, no gimmicks. These guys are here for your benefit, not mine. Um, you know, they get paid whether you buy one or not. And it just makes it so much easier to buy and sell something when you're dealing with somebody like that over these high pressure commission salespeople. The other way Parkway RV is different is, of course, the owner hand selects every RV we buy. We're very selective. We don't, in fact, you'd be surprised how many RVs that we turn down because of condition winds up at our competitor's dealerships. Every day, I have for sale by owners come by here and I send at least half of them packing because for sale by owners, the way they, they let their RVs deteriorate, some of them, not all of them, some of them are awesome, but so many people, and this is a common thing with for sale by owners. You know, the couple's had the RV for years. They haven't used it for the last couple of years. They lost all interest in it. So that means they've lost all interest in the proper maintenance. They've got it sitting outside uncovered for years, not using it, uh, not maintaining it, not doing your yearly roof maintenance and, uh, and oil changes and fluid changes and everything else that you're supposed to do. And then they try to sell it and they think they're going to get a dealer price when they've got water damage and smoke damage and from smoking in it and wore out upholstery and carpet and, and I see it every day folks. You know, a, a for sale by owner is never, you know, anybody that pays a dealer price from sale by owner is, uh, you're just not smart, I should say that. You know, because you're giving up, you know, a, a for sale by owner is not going to take their RV uh, to an RV dealership. Print out that four page checklist on our website for example. Go to for sale by owner and say, hey, will you pay a dealership to go through here and fix any of these systems that aren't working right for the same price you're, you're wanting to sell it for? They're going to tell you no. But we, that's why you're buying from us, guys. You don't want to work on it. You want to use it. And guys, we keep our prices fair. Um... We try to get stuff like this bath and a half that you can't hardly find anywhere else. And you can't, guys. I've looked. Not many of these out there for sale. It's nice. It's clean. It's not been smoked in. There's no pet odors. Brand new carpet. Um, airs are, I mean, guys, it's it's nice. And um, you look at it in person, you're, you're going you're to feel like you're in a 10-year newer coach just by the condition. But anyway... Guys, it's 59.9 with all those benefits or contact us for an option B price. Thank you for watching my video. We do offer nationwide delivery and yes, we do offer some great financing and that's another thing that makes us different from other RV dealerships. Other RV dealerships make a mint on financing. And how they do it is pretty simple. They get you, you know, they've got these nationwide lenders, same ones we use. But see, they go directly to the lenders. You don't go directly to them, they do. You've got no idea what they're talking about. And here's the thing. They'll get you approved at an interest rate, but they're not going to tell you that interest rate. They're going to mark it up a percent and a half, two percent, which over the uh, long-term loan can cost you thousands of dollars in higher RV payments because the banks let them keep the difference between the rate they got approved for and the rate they got you to sign up on. So if they got you approved at 6%, signed you up at seven and a half or eight percent you're overpaying by thousands of dollars in, in finance charges and the dealer gets to keep that money it's profit if a dealer offers you extended warranties gap insurance any kind of exterior and interior protection package that stuff's marked up five or six times what you can buy it for yourself after the sale and then they're just adding it to the note, your, your finance note, and making more money because obviously when they mark the interest rate up, the more money you finance, the more money the dealership makes. They're trying to get you to add everything in the sun, under the sun to the price of your RV. So you finance more, you pay more interest, and they make more money. We don't do that, guys. Our finance department is a courtesy we offer to our customers, not a way to make money. We're old-fashioned, but we make all of our money up front in the price. Everything else we do for you is done pretty much at cost. You know, like say you want to add a, 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 a bigger TV in the bedroom. 
you pay us whatever the TV and the mount costs, we'll put you a bigger TV in there. Or, you know, uh, whatever else you can think of, we, we'll help you out. If you want a tow dolly, we sell those just a little bit above cost because we don't sell those to the general public. They're only for our customers that buy RVs from us. And again, guys, we don't, we don't try to get rich on everybody we sell an RV to. That's the benefit of buying from a high-volume uh, high RV dealership. We make our dollar with 10 dimes instead of four quarters like the other guys do. We sell five to 600 used RVs a year. We've got no reason to try to make 10, 8, 10, 12 thousand dollars on every RV we sell. I wish we could, but uh, you know, we try to keep stuff fair. And we operate with a very low markup, you can tell from our prices. We try to sell only the best hand-picked RVs we can find. And uh, that's why we've been in business for 51 years, so obviously we're doing something right. Anyway, guys, if you have any questions, give us a call. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you haven't already, I try to post videos every day. You never know from one day to the next what I'm going to post. I don't know from one day to the next what I'm going to post. I'm going to work on some Class A diesels for the next couple of days. So make sure you stay tuned to my channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. Go to my website, parkwayrvcenter.com. I'll have pictures of this RV, a sales brochure in PDF format. You can see that list of everything we inspect. Uh, finance applications, we do take trades. And I've got trading applications so you can get the process started. But keep in mind, most of the time you still will have to send pictures if you can't run it by here to get an appraisal. Um, if you have any questions, call us. 706-965-7929. Email us, sales at parkwayrvcenter.com. Uh, please call before coming to look at a particular unit to make sure it's available. I never delete my YouTube videos. If you don't believe me how many RVs we sell, folks, go to my YouTube channel. Look at my videos. I've got thousands of videos on there that I've done on, on individual reviews of every RV. And 97% of them say sold on them. And guys, we got 150 plus used RVs. The biggest selection in one location of used RVs. Not new, but used. In a 500 mile radius. So guys, spend some time with us. You can be glad you did. We're the only deal. That's another thing that makes us different. We're the only dealership around that you can come at your own leisure during business hours. You don't have to go through a showroom to look at the sales lot. You don't have to sit down at a desk and get copies of your driver's license, give up all your contact information, get approved for a loan in some cases before they even let you on the lot. We're the only dealership around that you can look at 150, 60 plus used RVs unescorted by a salesperson at your own leisure. We're very hands-off here, guys. We like you to come to us when you see something you want to buy. Now, if one of my salespeople happens to be on the lot, they'll come up and greet you, answer some questions for you, but if you tell him you just want to look, he's going to let you look. He might give you a business card. Look at your own leisure. If you need anything, poke your head in the showroom. He'll help you out. Easy, simple, done. That's the way we operate, folks. No games, gimmicks, no surprises, haggle-free pricing, no fees, no surprises, no commission salespeople, no dock fees, no prep fees, none of that nonsense. The price, the tax, haggle-free, you get all those benefits and more. Guys, that's Parkway RV Center, family-owned and operated for 50 years. Always been here, always going to be, guys. Thank you again for watching. Look forward to seeing everybody here in beautiful Ringgold, Georgia.